the planet Pluto, composed at the farthest reaches of our planetary gathering, is surrounded by a giant number of cold, grand bodies and space rocks inside the Kuiper Belt, a colossal region of space past Neptune. Once worried as the tenth planet, Pluto gets its name from the Roman deity of the secret world. At any rate, at a basic junction in grand history, in 2006, Pluto was renamed from its planetary status, reflecting the growing appreciation of our solar system and our continuous fervor for planetary discovery. This reclassification portrays a shifting of celestial parts with different space rocks, a select group of minor planets, and a record of only eight official planets throughout humankind's history of exploration. Over many extended lengths of intellectual knowledge and research, our interpretation of these bodies has progressed significantly. We've gained insights into their compositions, behavior, and scientific conduct, painting a more nuanced picture of our vast universe. Yet, in the midst of our growing knowledge, the allure of our own solar system continues to invite evaluation and discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope, a pinnacle of modern cosmic progress, stands ready to uncover a portion of these ongoing revelations, including those about Pluto. Notwithstanding its modest size and irregular orbit, Pluto has held an unprecedented spot in the hearts of many for a truly long time, maintaining the distinction of being the smallest celestial body in our solar system. Pluto's renaming sparked a strong public reaction, highlighting the significant emotional connection people felt toward this distant body. At any rate, scientific caution dictated that for an object to legitimately hold planetary status, it should adhere to three key criteria. Orbiting the sun, having sufficient mass to assume an almost round shape under its gravity, and clearing its orbit of debris. Pluto finally failed to meet these criteria with its unbalanced orbital path. The term planet has undergone a fascinating progression throughout history. Initially, it included any large celestial body seen in the sky, including moons and asteroids. Pluto's discovery in 1930 by American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh stirred worldwide excitement, only to be followed by the discovery of similarly sized objects in its neighborhood, raising questions about its planetary status. Amidst this discussion, Professor Mike Brown's key discovery of a Kuiper Belt object, essentially indistinguishable in size to Pluto, further complicated matters, challenging the traditional definition of a planet. This prompted a heated debate within the astronomical community, culminating in Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet during the International Astronomical Union, IAU, meeting in Prague in 2006. Thus, Pluto's transition from planetary status to a dwarf planet role serves as a demonstration of the dynamic nature of scientific understanding and the ongoing quest for clarity in our understanding of the vast universe. After extensive deliberation, a revised definition of a planet was proposed and put to a vote during the IAU's 2006 meeting. This new definition allowed both Pluto and other similarly sized objects like Eris, formerly known as 2003 UB313, to be classified as dwarf planets, signaling a departure from the traditional notion of what constitutes a planet and reflecting a more nuanced perspective on celestial bodies. Mike Brown, a planetary scientist at Caltech whose work contributed to Pluto's renaming, gained widespread recognition for his efforts, even earning the nickname Pluto Killer on social media. This renaming prompted a brief revision of educational materials, including textbooks, to reflect the new understanding of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets. However, not all members of the scientific community immediately embraced the IAU's new definition. Some planetary scientists, particularly those focused on Pluto and similar objects, expressed concerns about the new criteria, leading to further debates within the field of planetary science. These discussions extended beyond scientific circles into the wider public discourse, raising questions about the possibility of a definitive classification system and the broader implications of renaming long-established astronomical terms. Despite these debates, the intellectual inquiry continued unabated. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft conducted a historic flyby of Pluto, providing incredible insights into this distant world. The mission revealed a dynamic and geologically active planetoid, with features like nitrogen ice planes and a distinctive heart-shaped region, captivating the public imagination. As we ponder these discoveries, 
it becomes clear that the way in which we interpret our solar system and its constituent bodies continues to evolve. The renaming of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets represents a milestone in our ongoing exploration of the universe, highlighting the intricate structure and variety of worlds beyond Earth. As new horizons traveled through space at an astonishing speed of 32,300 miles per hour, it captured detailed images of Pluto's near side during its closest approach. However, due to the spacecraft's orientation and the position of the Sun, Pluto's far side, often referred to as the dark side, remained hidden from view. Scientists meticulously analyzed images taken by the spacecraft before its encounter to gather data on this mysterious region. Despite the limited scope of these images, they offered a remarkable level of detail, allowing scientists to observe surface features down to about one mile across, far surpassing previous observations, including those made by the Hubble Space Telescope. The analysis of these images has provided new insights into Pluto's dynamic nature, with researchers examining features like a possible subsurface ocean and surface cycles. Later discoveries, such as the presence of ammonia on Pluto's surface, further revealed the complexity of this world. The captivating ice plains continue to unveil Pluto's intricate structure. Richard Binzel, a planetary scientist involved with the New Horizons mission, describes Pluto as the gift that keeps on giving, as it continues to surprise researchers with its uniqueness. Before the New Horizons mission, the most detailed images of Pluto came from the Hubble Space Telescope, which revealed a world with specific surface features. New Horizons, however, provided closer, up-close views of Pluto's terrain, including the iconic heart-shaped region and the immense frozen plain known as Sputnik Planitia. The discovery of Sputnik Planitia's unique configuration, along with Pluto's largest moon Charon, has sparked interest in its formation. Some scientists suggest that it could contain a subsurface ocean, which may have influenced Pluto's surface features. The presence of ammonia ice in the covering of Sputnik Planitia suggests geological activity beneath the surface, indicating a dynamic and evolving world. As researchers continue to analyze the data gathered by New Horizons, they are uncovering new pieces of the puzzle of Pluto's complex and active nature, further expanding the possibilities for future research. The varied landscape on Pluto's far side, including slopes, valleys, and plains, bear similarities to features seen on other celestial bodies with subsurface oceans. While Pluto's far side remains relatively hidden, scientists eagerly await future missions for closer examination. The anomalies observed fuel theories about Pluto's geological history and the role of its subsurface ocean in shaping its surface features. These discoveries challenge conventional interpretations of planetary evolution and underscore the growing understanding of distant worlds like Pluto. As New Horizons continues its mission, scientists speculate about the future of Pluto's interior over the long term. Radioactive decay within its core could have generated enough heat to cause surface deformation, possibly leading to folds or cracks similar to those seen on Earth. However, when New Horizons captured images of Pluto's far side, it revealed large fractures rather than the expected wrinkles. Pluto's surface appears to have frozen over time, with a massive crack running along the near side of the planet resembling Earth's East African Rift System. This may be due to the freezing and expansion of a subsurface ocean, with the age of the crack suggesting that the ocean began cooling rapidly after reaching the surface, potentially creating conditions favorable for the development of life. The reddish hue of Pluto's surface, indicative of organic compounds, suggests the presence of complex organic molecules. Laboratory experiments have shown that such molecules can form through radiation from solar winds or cosmic rays, providing insight into their presence on Pluto. The discovery of ammonia-bound ice on Pluto's near side supports the idea that the dwarf planet could harbor rich organic compounds. While this doesn't indicate the presence of life, it suggests that conditions on Pluto might be conducive to life if they were appropriate. Measurements from Pluto's far side have not only confirmed the success of the mission but also led to the discovery of fascinating geological features, including ice formations resembling tall structures. These features, spaced evenly and rising dramatically, present an intriguing mystery. Preliminary measurements suggest they are made of methane ice, forming a belt around Pluto's equator. However, their origin remains uncertain with hypotheses ranging from atmospheric freezing to decomposition by intense sunlight. 
Understanding Pluto's cold environment and landscape requires a careful assessment of its atmospheric conditions. Scientists are refining climate models to better simulate the observed anomalies and aim to recreate Pluto's climate and surface conditions in laboratory settings. While the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, cannot capture high-resolution images of Pluto, its longer wavelengths may yield further discoveries. As we continue to unravel Pluto's mysteries, we embark on a journey that reflects humanity's insatiable quest for knowledge and the remarkable progress we have made in understanding the universe. The JWST's ability to collect and analyze infrared light offers a unique opportunity to study interstellar objects, including those passing through our solar system. With its advanced capabilities, the telescope enables researchers to probe the secrets of these vast visitors, shedding light on their composition and origins. This ongoing research underscores the importance of continued scientific inquiry in uncovering the mysteries of our vast and fascinating universe. The JWST marks a new era in cosmology, bringing cutting-edge technology to the study of distant celestial objects and interstellar visitors. Equipped with advanced infrared capabilities, the JWST can detect vast features that are generally invisible to ordinary optical telescopes. This allows scientists to investigate the early universe, star formation, and the composition of exoplanets with unprecedented detail. Perhaps the most significant feature of the JWST is its ability to detect infrared light, which is essential for observing objects that are too faint or too distant to be seen in visible light. The telescope's enormous primary mirror and sophisticated instruments enable it to detect the faint thermal signatures of distant galaxies and other massive objects. This capability is particularly valuable for studying the development and evolution of galaxies, as well as the atmospheres of exoplanets. The JWST's contribution to our understanding of the universe is evident in its ability to reveal complex insights into distant cosmic objects. For example, its observations have provided new data on the structure and composition of distant galaxies, shedding light on their formation and growth over vast periods of time. Additionally, the telescope's observations of exoplanet atmospheres have contributed to our knowledge of their potential habitability and the presence of key atmospheric components like water vapor and methane. Interstellar objects also reveal cosmic secrets. One of the most exciting aspects of the JWST mission is its ability to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua. This strange visitor from outside our solar system captured global attention when it was first detected in 2017. Unlike any object previously seen, Oumuamua displayed an unusual elongated shape and rapid movement, prompting widespread speculation about its origins. The JWST's capabilities are expected to provide further insights into such interstellar objects by studying their composition and trajectories. Scientists hope to learn more about their origins and the processes that led to their ejection from their home star systems. This information could offer valuable clues about the evolution and development of planetary systems beyond our own. Exploring Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, Pluto as a representative of the Kuiper Belt, remains a focal point of scientific interest. Data from the New Horizons mission revealed a wealth of information about Pluto's surface and its geological features. As scientists continue to investigate these discoveries, they aim to better understand the processes that shape such distant bodies. The JWST's observations could complement and enhance the findings from New Horizons by providing additional insights into the structure and dynamics of Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects. Understanding these distant worlds is crucial for unraveling the history and evolution of our solar system, as well as the development of other planetary systems in the universe. As the JWST continues its mission, more groundbreaking revelations are expected that will advance our understanding of the universe. The telescope's ability to observe in the infrared spectrum opens up new possibilities for exploring previously unseen aspects of space from studying the earliest galaxies to analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets and interstellar visitors. The JWST is poised to make significant contributions to cosmology, and the continued exploration of Pluto and other fascinating bodies will also deepen our understanding of planetary systems beyond our own. By combining data from various missions and telescopes, scientists can create a more comprehensive picture of the universe and its many wonders. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope stands at the forefront of cosmic exploration, 
offering extraordinary insights into the universe. Its cutting-edge technology and capabilities promise to unveil new secrets and expand our understanding of the cosmos, paving the way for future discoveries and broadening the horizons of human knowledge.